I had the privilege of being invited to contribute a foreword to this beautiful book. When it came to my hands, I read the book twice. I was amazed at the way in which the author had integrated the various elements of um, the great saint's life as well as the, the travails of his movement. The, the book is something of a marvel. Ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, amazed that we take this great miracle for granted that such good work must, uh, must be, uh, as usual in India, many good things are taken for granted. <coughs> the, there's a book on Carmelite mysticism and Hindu thought written by a monk of the Ramakrishna order who spent perhaps uh, 50 years of his life in France. He wrote that book in French. It is translated. Speaks of um, mysticism and spirituality more than uh, um, religious doctrines which uh, are provocative, Relig re religions, religious statements create a provocative atmosphere, but spirituality is a different thing. And um, when you see this, Krishna is a, a great symbol of mysticism in the, in the cultural movement of this country. I happen to be a chancellor of a university where the children perform a, a stage a drama every year, immediately after the convocation. I saw the ch children in the age group of 17 to 20, 22, they write the script, they write the dialogue, they design the costume, they stitch the costume themselves, they design the sets and do the carpentry work themselves and present a play. Some time ago, they presented a play of a South Indian um, devotee, a poor man, a washerman, who collects small amounts of money from his earnings, stores it in a box, just to be able to pay for his journey to, um, to Badrinath temple to have darshan of the Lord. After he finds that the box that in which he had collected coins was sufficiently heavy enough to afford his journey. He undertakes his journey because he had already become old. And when he reaches there, halfway he could afford his journey to some transport, the other half he had to walk. Just as he was entered the shrine, he saw it was the Uthan Dwatsi day. The shrine was being closed and it was closed with great eclat and pomp. Every one of them had come in a procession to lock the doors of the garden. And they were all costumed with uh, um, bejeweled and uh, um, uh, very decorous dress. And he rushes to them and tells them, just open the door one inch. I have come all the way from South India. Just open the door for one inch. I'll have a vision and go back. They say, no, it's tradition that we have closed it. And we are yet just about to lock it. He says, just before you lock it, open it an inch. That's what I want. They say, no, this is not possible. And they lock it and go away. He says, what shall I do? He said, come back six months later. And he said, I can't go back and return. They go away with, uh, with, uh, with the great eclat and in a procession, taking the key of the Lord's door with them. The man collapses there. See, the children have written this and enacted it. The man collapses there. Then some old man comes and says, I am condemned to remain here even during this winter uh, till Uthan Akshay Tritiya. It's six months hence. I am condemned to be here. And you are lying here. Why don't you come to my hut? I'll give you something to eat. He says, no, I'd rather die here. The fellow lies down on the door, and the door steps, and that old man says, I have an old shawl with me. 
I'll cover your body with that so that you may not uh, uh, freeze yourself to death. Then the man <laughs> sleeps. In the morning at four o'clock, he finds a bright sun coming out, the birds chirping, and uh, the whole procession is coming back with the same eclat. He says, what's happened? They say, six months are over. Now it is the, the, the Akshay Titiya day. We're opening the door. He, he says, look at this. I just slept in the night. And uh, this, is, this is morning. You say, I have slept for six months. She says, you have wearing a shawl on your back. Who gave you this? He says, the old man came here and gave me this. This is the one which we put on the Lord's idol when we left. How did it come here? <laughs> then he says, I don't know. I don't know. Then they say, take him in a procession inside. This is the message of mysticism of this country. And this is the... This is not religion. It, is, it puts you, your consciousness about the clutches of Prakriti. It liberates you and makes you vision, have a vision. Imagine if, if children of 17 years of age can conceive a theme like this and, uh, and enact it, present it in a way. I could see a number of moist eyes in the audience when they saw the, the theme unfolding itself to that climax. This is the um, spirituality and this is mysticism. And the core of every, any religion is not dogma or ritual. It is mysticism. And Krishna is the symbol of this great mysticism. And the message of this book is the message that everything so beautiful in life transcends the limitations of Prakriti. This is the message and we are all most grateful to Dr. Babu Krishnamurti. I wrote a foreword to it. I said, between Vedantic theism and Vedantic absolutism, there's something higher. This is the mystic experience of Krishna. Thank you very much for your patience.